Well, there's no way around it. Everybody wants to know, is Donald Trump going to flee in 2023? So that's what the video will be about. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching. Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Will he go? Is he going to run? Personally, I don't think so. I think he'll fight to the bitter end. But we'll do a, uh, a full uh, layout and see what's going to happen for Trump in 2023 as far as will he stay or will he go. Here we go. We're going to see what's going to happen with Mr. Donald J. Trump in 2023 as far as will he stay or will he go I'm going to use this uh, the grand circus and sideshow tarot it really seems just perfect for this and um, i'm a little giddy i'm so uh, happy about the information that's been revealed uh, recently i've ordered the transcript of the january 6 um work and i can't wait to get it it'll be delivered after the first of the year so tower card fell out so disaster so Donald Trump in 2023, is he going to flee? I can't imagine that he doesn't, but I can't imagine that he does either. It just seems to me that he's brazen enough that he'll want to stick around and think he can fight this to the bitter end. Donald Trump in 2023. And he knew all along from the very beginning. From 2015 when he started and then once he won the presidency which he didn't expect to win and then um, all the grifting that he did during that and all of the insane MAGA people who still to this very day believe whatever he says and that this was all a, a worthwhile campaign amazing so but before we do anything let's have a moment of meditation Okay, let's see how this goes. Donald Trump in 2023. We'll do a, a six cards, dyadic cross. Donald Trump in 2023, will he flee? Six cards. One, two, three, four, five, he has got to be feeling some kind of crazy heat right now. Signifier card. Will Donald Trump flee? Well, this is uh, very appropriate. The emperor. This is how he sees himself. He is the ringmaster. Okay. He is the one uh, guiding the show. So the signifier card is him. And you know, the fact that this shows me uh, the emperor, the ringmaster here, getting ready to... He's Is he walking out of the tent here? Or is he walking into the tent to start the show? I, you know, th this would be him walking in to start the show. The challenge to that? Wow. Okay, so we have the symbol of the Republican Party. We have the uh, elephant here. We have the Nine of Cups. Cups are compassion. And the, um, the uh, Nine of Cups is kind of the greedy merchant wanting to display all the trophies that they've uh, acquired so the challenge to Donald Trump being the ringmaster is the Republican Party. The basis of this, wow, is the hermit card. So the basis of this whole thing, and he has been quite a bit of a hermit. He hasn't left Mar-a-Lago almost since he uh, announced that he was going to run. So the hermit card is the base of this whole thing, laying low. Being careful not to move forward until you know where you're going. Look at this. His his. The staff that the hermit usually has is like a plan to move forward. The light is usually showing him the way. But this sad clown 
is is shining the light on himself and his, his shoes are tattered his wand is bent and uh, he looks scared uh, to move forward wow the past of this is the king of swords okay so the king of swords is the fellow who's at the top of his game swords of truth justice rules and law and this is who he had been he had been the guy hawking his um his his truth his justice his rules his law because believe me he believes a lot of what he's convinced himself of he's that deranged but that's in the past and in the sky of this reading whew, the ten of swords is utter downfall the sky of the reading the in the sky here you kind of want to think the best you can hope for what you're going to shoot for how you're going to um improve the situation and in the sky of this reading is the ten of wands all those knives crammed into that basket, literally stabbing whatever's inside. But you know, in the magician's act, when this happens, it never really hits the person inside, does it? But nevertheless, the Ten of, of Swords is um, a complete end to a cycle. And then the final outcome with this strength card, my goodness, this man has got staying power. He will not give up the fight. Let's do four more cards. Wow, that's amazing. He will not give up the fight. He will fight to the bitter end. The very self of that question as to whether Donald Trump will flee in 23 is look at this, this page of swords. The page is the very weakest of the court cards. This is the person who's bringing a suggestion to the court. It could be a spy in the camp. Uh, and, the, and the sword uh, that's coming out here is a symbol of uh, truth, justice, rules, and law. But this page is getting ready to swallow whatever that symbol is. So this very weak page is a very weak offering of truth, justice, rules, and law that they're willing to cram down their throat. Signify this question as to whether he'll flee. So he's got a very slight, if you want to say positive, card in that direction but the environment that it's in is the moon card is secrets being revealed wow the secrets that will be revealed are what are uh, in the uh, that's the environment of this uh, weak page of truth and the hopes and the fears with this six of coins is a distribution the coins are value um, could be money but the six of coins is a distribution of that value and I think in this case in the hopes of the fears the six of the coins is a distribution of that um, blame really and you see this fella here is distributing to the kids so is he gonna siphon some of this off on his kids is that his hopes and the final outcome Trump in 2023 will he flee Whew is the Four of Swords. And this is the, the Four of Swords is typically um, being very careful not to get up until you know which way you need to go so that you don't hurt yourself. And I think he's going to stay and fight. I think he believes that he can fight this thing. Trump in 2023, will he flee? I don't think so. We start out with the Emperor, the Ringmaster, getting ready to go in and start the show. This is, he can't wait. The uh, ch uh, challenge to that is the GOP with his Ten of Cups wanting to display all of their uh, successes. So the GOP is going to be the challenge uh, to him starting that show somehow. But the basis of the whole thing is the Hermit. This is Trump as the Hermit not having anywhere to go except stand in place. The past of this reading with this King of Swords, it was him kind of hawking his wares, okay? And in the sky of this, with this Ten of uh, Swords, is a complete and utter downfall, the end, starting of something new. But you notice it's not the death card. The likely outcome of all of this, then, is strength. This man has got the will to hang on, okay? The uh, signifier of that question as to will he flee? No, there's a page of swords. He's going to try to ram something down the throat of the American people in the courts. And the challenge to that, the environment that it's in, is the truth being revealed, the secrets being revealed. And the uh, hopes and the fears is that he can deflect, he can distribute some of that uh, blame to someone else. But in the end, with this four of swords, he is stuck. This guy cannot get up. He's got the anvil on his chest. It's pressing him down. He's sinking into those four uh, swords right there. I think he's going to stay and stay and try to beat it. 
Let me ask one more, one card. Will he beat? Will he beat it? Will he win in the end? One card. Happy family. Looks like there's a good chance that he will somehow feel as if he, he's won. Remember, he won a lawsuit in the past, and he considered it winning because he went bankrupt, and they erased most of his debt, and that was a win to him. And so I think in his mind, he will come out of this somehow win, have won in his mind, but very much diminished. Man, crazy. So I don't know. Do you agree? I don't know. Let me know what you think. And tell me what you'd like to uh, like me to read on, because, you know, I'll read on that. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. So, Le Grand Circus and Sideshow Tarot by Joe Lee. These are really terrific cards. They come in a very nice box. If you received them as a gift or gave them as a gift, you'd feel like, oh, that's a, that was a nice gift. And um, the cards themselves are really nice. Um, they're done in the style of sort of circus posters. And uh, the guidebook uh, is really a very nice little guidebook. This fellow, Joe Lee, uh, was a very interesting uh, person, or is a very interesting person. And uh, I want to find, there's a little bit here that talks about him. Um, but he was a circus performer. He went to the Clown College in Florida, which I'm from Florida, and I'm very well at the Clown College here. Uh, uh, that uh, you can go to to get a, a degree in that and then uh, he's done other things in his life and then once he decided uh, that he would create uh, tarot cards he uh, designed these um, to be so very useful they're easy to use um, the art on them is amazing and if you know your right away system you're not gonna have a problem you know deciphering uh, what these cards are, are gonna mean I mean they're pretty self-explanatory and fun 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 to look at so you know I do this so that you can have a look at these cards uh, and you know if you're not a person who collects cards or looks at a bunch of tarot cards otherwise you're only going to see the few cards that a reader pulls at a time and uh, I think it's just you're missing out on a lot so you know this uh, Le Grand uh, Circus Sideshow Tarot I love using these well coming back tomorrow I'll be doing it all again so ciao for now you really make a big difference. Thank you.